product and production policies independent of the market, with immunity from competition, from the law of supply and demand. An, ec an economy dominated by such monopolies would be rigid and stagnant. The necessary precondition pre of a coercive monopoly is closed entry, the barring of all competing producers from a given field. This can be accomplished... Like electric companies sure. oftentimes, yep. cable companies often exist in this mm -hmm. area. Uh, there's like a theme here. It's like governments grant these. Right. She there's says, no such thing as a coercive monopoly that exists outside yep. of... Uh, a government, uh, a government and grant. That's exactly what she goes on to say. This can be accomplished only by an act of government intervention in the form of special regulations, subsidies, or franchises. Without government assistance, it is impossible, or would be, or for a would-be monopolist to set and maintain his prices and production policies independent of the rest of the economy. For if he attempted to set his prices and production at a level that would yield profits to new entrants significantly above those available in other fields, competitors would be sure to invade his industry. Now, um, and, and I think that that's obvious. If you if you somehow disagree with this idea, if you believe that a monopoly can exist outside of a government a granted monopoly. Give us a call at 855 450 free. Mm. These are the uh, these are the what anarcho writings of right. Ayn Rand. Yep, and I think that that's interesting stuff. That's 855 450 3733. Well, there could be a there could be a, a monopoly by virtue of the fact that one company provides awesome service and awesome product and nobody's bothered to try to compete with them. Just sort think, of a natural monopoly or whatever that well, would, if you look would be. Well, she was talking about coercive monopolies. There can be no coercive monopoly right and, and yeah. so we all have a monopoly we have a monopoly over our own labor mm. so if you sl if you slice the pie thinly enough you can find yourself a monopoly so for instance in the area of uh, satellite delivered audio content sirius xm in the car sort of wins out that nobody's sort of developed enough uh, developed uh, a system for delivering audio in the car mm -hmm. to compete with them there was xm and sirius they merged now it's a monopoly. But it's only a monopoly in the area of satellite-delivered audio. It's not a monopoly in the area of audio delivered to cars, because you can get audio delivered to your car through, I, I, I'll i use my cell phone, my smartphone through the, the radio, yep. and connect a um, LRN.FM through the listen lines or through the data plan. Um, also, I get podcasts that I put on a jump drive and I bring into the car. You can probably do it on my smartphone, but I don't do it that way. And uh, the radio, you know, <laughs> like the old tried and true system there's also always natural factors of competition between like for example service and price those things are always going to be at odds with one another so if you you have your price low enough you might not be able to provide the same level of service as another company would. it's true the toll-free number tonight is 855 450 free of course we'll take your calls about anything you want to discuss here on free talk live 855 450 free So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. 
It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45 non-tobacco user could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month, and this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policies of five. $500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Tollhouse Morsels, helping you create special moments and memories your family will cherish forever. Visit us at tollhouse.com. You may bake for birthdays and holidays, but why stop there? Sweeten up the rest of the year by designating monthly dessert days. Treat your family to one of their favorites or surprise them with something new. Either way, you'll create a tradition everyone will love. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We invite you to take control of these airwaves here. You can bring up anything you'd like. 855-450-FREE is the number. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features we have there for you. They're all free. Many of the ideas of independence that uh, that were behind the Revolutionary War here in the United States descended from the Scottish. The, for instance, the the Declaration of Independence, written by uh, you know Thomas Jefferson, uh, to some to some extent a, a Scot, um, were based on the Declaration of Arbroath. And many of the people who died on revolutionary battlefields were people who had participated in the Jacobite Revolution in Scotland and had to get the heck off out of the UK in order to you know, avoid dying. Um, the ideas of liberty are integral in Scottish heritage. And that's why I think In Freedom's Cause from InFreedomsCause.com is just a really great work. It's the story of Wall- William, the, excuse me, William Wallace and Robert the Bruce, and it's just phenomenal. It's produced in a fashion where this is audio theater at its best. It's got uh, big name actors and actresses in it, including uh, Joanne Froggett from Downton Abbey, Billy Boyd from Lord of the Rings. Skandar Keynes from Chronicles of Narnia, James Cosmo from Braveheart. These are top, top-rate top actors, and they do a fantastic job. You'll not find audio theater better than this, and you'll not find anything as a gift for this holiday season that's better at giving the ideas of liberty to your family, to your loved ones, to the kids in your life. This is very kid-friendly. It's awesome for kids. You can just go to infreedomscause.com, and we've got a special offer for Free Talk Live listeners. There's a family four-pack, and the family four-pack is four sets of audio that you can give away to four different people. So you've got four gifts in one, and you get it for half price with coupon code FTL. So you go to infreedomscause.com, use coupon code FTL, 
and get four gifts. Give them out to the people you love. Spread the ideas of liberty. Support Free Talk Live. Support um, liberty-oriented media. It's it's a win all around in freedomscause.com. All right, let's uh, we'll come back to this list of Ayn Rand anar- alleged anarchist statements from someone who probably would not have described herself that way. Uh, Johnson will continue that list in a moment, but first we've got Aaron, who's on the line in Philly. Aaron, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, I heard you guys talking, and uh, decided I wanted to talk about the monopoly question. Yeah. And I was wondering, how, how many people are allowed to own a resource to call it a monopoly? So if someone say two people own all the oil in the world, is that a monopoly? Well, it's not or a mo- that- monopoly. That'd be a duopoly, wouldn't it? But I, I, I would. I think you just use the term cartel um, to describe it, and I think that a cartel uh, is, you know, I mean, it's an obvious control. In most cases, you don't have um, still the marketplace abhors cartels too, and they have to be supported by government to some extent. All right. So if I find unobtainiums per se on my property, and I have the entire world. Fly, yep. And it just happens to be mine. Is that a legitimate monopoly or not? Well, well, it depends. We were talking about coercive monopolies. So, are you stealing from someone in order to monopolize this? No, he said it was on his property. So, no. Right. The, the Earth monopoly. doesn't really work that way. But okay, let's talk about unobtainium. Um, and the answer is, yeah, you own it. Let's not forget, in the real world, um, in the world of kings, in the world of uh, coercive ruler, somebody's liable to take it away from you and say, uh, the government will take it from you and say that uh, somehow or another it's a resource that they deserve to have and that you shouldn't have it. But let's say that uh, for some reason or another, the government doesn't do that to you. Sure, you own it legitimately. Who knows to say what its value is? You know, you you might think it's, you know, the most valuable thing on the planet. It's unobtainium. But other people might go, yeah, that's just a, you know, dumb piece of metal. I guess I was leading more towards there being a continuum. So there's anything with a limited resource. There's a certain percentage of the population that has a, that owns it. Whether or not they're in collusion, I guess, is the problem. It's not that. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. It's it's them getting together. But like I said, what the collusion generally does is that collusion works with governments in order to uh, solidify their their collusion. If you're just talking about in the free market, then oftentimes somebody manages to make an end run around these people or somebody breaks the cartel in trying to get more business and that sort of thing. So if you're talking about, say, um, here here's a legitimate monopoly. You have a monopoly over the land you own, which is basically what you're talking with unobtainium. Well, this is sort of true when you're at a a business corner. There's always the good corner for for a gas station, and then the other gas stations are on the lesser corners. Well, the good corner gas station is probably going to have the higher name mobile gas or whatever, and they're going to be a few cents more. Well, the other gas stations are going to compete against that gas station to try to drive down, well, not to try to drive down the price, that's the result, but they're, they're trying to get other customers. And so they're going to have better prices, or they're going to have better Slurpees, or they're going to have, uh, you know, oil change deals, or whatever it is they do to get people in the door so that they can take business away from that uh, the good corner. And that's what that's how the marketplace works. Well, and that's the same way government works. The Antanian translate that into land, as you point out, is the a truly limited resource that everybody has to have somewhere to live and stand. And all the governments have taken monopolies on certain sections of land. Well, they're taking monopolies on all land. The United States government um, and and, and its uh, little satellite governments claims every inch of land. That's why you pay property tax. It's a rent to the Lord. If there was a surplus of land, though, governments would be a moot point because there would always be somewhere you could go that you could avoid them. Well, the only reason why there isn't a surplus of land, though, is because they've claimed all of it. Well, no, it's not. I mean, you can go to uh, the moon or you can no, go to every Antarctica. every square inch of land on the planet is owned. Yeah, but you're probably not going to be bothered down in Antarctica. It's sure. just that you can't live there. And Well, anywhere you can go where you can live, there's going to be men and women who will show up to tell you what to do. I mean, it, you, even if the, even if there were more un, unclaimed land, it would only be a matter of time before somebody comes there and claims the wall. You know, yeah, you've been living here, but we're forming a government and now we're taking over. Right. So the reason monopolies are a problem is because the people trying to enforce or restrict monopolies, the government, already have a monopoly on every natural resource on the planet. 
Which well, they have a monopoly on violence on the land. They they have a they monopoly, have a monopoly on, on the, the use on, on the use of violence, and that's how they get the the rest of their monopolies because they're willing well, to kill no, you. you. You could use violence if you wanted to, but, you're but then still you'd not be like the government. The land, they you're... have more violence, but they don't have a monopoly on it. Like anyone can do violence, but they do have a monopoly on the land. Well, they have no, no, well, no. How do they have monopoly on the the land if they're not willing to use violence? If, for instance, I have a hundred dollar bill in my hand, um, but I'm not willing to uh, use violence to protect it, somebody can just take it out of my hand. So it's the claim on violence that the government has. They have a monopoly on the legitimate use of violence, meaning that they can get away with using violence, and everybody thinks it's okay because they've been brainwashed to believe that it's okay when the government uses violence in a lot of cases, and then they use that violence violence or the threat of the violence, uh, which ultimately is a threat of death, as we discussed earlier tonight, to get their way, which is to say they have a monopoly over everything. Wouldn't, wouldn't most libertarians afford everyone that same opportunity to use violence to protect what they think is their stuff? I would. Their home and their land. Yeah, I think right. most, most people do have that right to defend themselves, absolutely. So if the government believes that this is their land and they're affording you the opportunity to live on it and protections under it, then obviously they would conclude logically that they should be able to defend it with violence. But you're talking about the government as though it's an individual and it's not. That's right, yeah. But they would conclude that they have the right to defend it with violence because they've written pieces of paper that tell them they have that right. It's just well, all this big religion. Corporation can't really have a, mo a monopoly either because it's not an individual very own freeze dryer, oh, you'll be hey, able to freeze dry the, the food your Stand family by. loves. Because we live in uncertain, difficult times, what, what better there? way to show your love for your family than to buy them a gift that helps them preserve food they can use now or in 25 years. Go to HarvestRight.com and find out how you can get your in-home freeze dryer. Layaway is available. That's HarvestRight.com. We love that you're passionate about GCN. And whether you're a listener, a business owner, or a radio industry professional, we've redesigned the new GCN newsletter to keep you in the know. Get updates on your favorite GCN shows and hosts. Go to GCNlive.com and click on the banner in the upper left corner. Just for signing up, you're automatically entered for monthly giveaways. Start receiving your newsletter today. The future of talk radio. GCN. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. 
I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free to bring up whatever you'd like at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Talking about monopolies. How do, we, you know, how do you define monopoly? Is there such a thing as a monopoly that can happen naturally without the assistance of the state? And what exactly kind of a monopoly does the state have anyway? Uh, is it a monopoly on the use of violence, the legitimate use of violence, that then leads them to have a monopoly over other things like uh, land, for instance, where they seem to claim ownership of all land. And if you don't believe that's true, try not paying property taxes and wait for a few years and see what happens to your property, or at least what you thought was your property. So uh, we can continue that discussion. Also, it was uh, springing from a list of 10 statements from Ayn Rand, which are apparently uh, claiming to be anarchist statements, even though she was definitely not an anarchist. Johnson has that list. We will continue with it. She wasn't even a libertarian, uh, at least from what I understand. But we'll continue with that here in a moment. 855-450-FREE is the number. Also, want to let you know how to get a car for Bitcoin. New Age Auto Sales has late model used cars they've cared for in their rental fleet. And New Age Auto Sales is selling their own well-maintained cars, which means that they don't pass on the costs that they normally would have to pass on if they went to an auction, for instance. And you have to pay auction fees and then transport costs to get it back to the dealership. Uh, those don't get passed on to you because they already have these cars in their inventory. They're in great condition and are priced to move, and they can ship them anywhere in the world for Bitcoin. In fact, NewAgeAutoSales.com is looking to become the Bitcoin auto dealer. Now, of course, if you don't have enough Bitcoin to buy a whole car, you can also um, get help from NewAgeAutoSales.com. And uh, Bitcoin is what they're taking at NewAgeAutoSales.com for late model, well-maintained cars shipped anywhere in the world. You can go to their website, give them a call from the number on the site, NewAgeAutoSales.com. As we go back to Aaron in Philadelphia. Aaron, uh, f- further thoughts that uh, that you wanted to share? Um, just as I was trying to catch in at the end there, was there's there had to be someone on the land first. So who was able to claim legitimate use of the land in the first place was the person able to defend it with violence. And as collections and groups of people grew... It's almost as if the government get, got a natural ownership of the land simply by being the largest group defending the given area. Yeah, I, I can see that that point because oftentimes what you'll find is is that uh, when you have a small enough group of people that you know one one person will specialize in this and one person will specialize in that and and that kind of thing. So you'll have the the guy, the plumber, um, and the carpenter and those sorts of things. And so what you have is you have the person who specializes in protection. They put together their protection force or they uh, organize people in whatever way they organize them and. In the organization of a of an organization, you know, in organizing an organization that has, uh, you know, that its stated purpose is to use violence in a defensive fashion, but nonetheless, it uses violence. It's going to be a, it's a short little step over the line from defensive violence to offensive violence. Well, you need to pay us to uh, to protect you. Well, of course, you have to pay anybody for any kind of service. But then, when a society gets big enough, where two people could provide uh, levels of protection, the person who was providing it up to that point is like, "Whoa, I, we really don't like that idea," or the organization, or whatever. It's, you should stick with us. And since they have the weapons and they have the uh, the the the, uh, the sort of the mo- the momentum from time. Uh, you know, that's what they claim is legitimacy. Aaron, right, thanks, and thanks. I think it speaks to the corruptibility of people in power. Sure. 
Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate thanks. it. The toll free number is 855 450 free. Well, of course, you know, was it Lord Acton who said absolute power corrupts? Absolutely. Nope. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. Yeah, um, yeah I, I really like these conversations about sort of uh, monopolies and, you know, what what the uh, the role of government is and, and that sort of thing. And I think that it's they, they use the term that government is a monopoly on the use of violence in a given geographic area. And th- that gets used. You can there's a Barack Obama quote that says that's what sets a nation state apart. He's he's saying it, and it's said over and over by those in the political sphere. They understand that. Now, many of us on the outsides, we don't understand, oh, politicians would never say something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they understand what government is. It's a monopoly on the use of force. But it's not, not in the United States. Um, you know, the federal government isn't a monopoly by any stretch. It was never set up to the, be that way. States were supposed to be superior or at least on par with the federal government, but since power tends to concentrate, it tends to concentrate in the hands of those that, well, have the guns. Um, what we've seen is is that since basically World War II, the United States has become the seat of power for the world. The, the Washington D.C. is the seat of power for the world, and the states' uh, their power is diminished. The individuals' power is diminished. The uh, local governments' power is diminished, and countries around the world they do whether it's by carrot or stick. They do what the State Department says. Or they are in big trouble. Well, the U.S. government may be the seat of power in the world, but according to uh, MarketWatch.com, America is now number two as far as size of the economy. China apparently is. What does that mean, size of the economy? Uh, Well, according to the story here, there's no easy way to say this. I'll just say it. We're no longer number one. Today, we're number two. Yes, it's official. The Chinese economy just overtook the United States economy to become the largest in the world. It's uh, for the first time. The population since... is triple ours too, right? Mm, I don't know if this is by population. I'm pretty or... sure. Yeah, it probably it probably is by population. But regardless, uh, not number one anymore in that category right. either. Anyway, let's go on with the list. So one thing you mentioned before was you know whether or not uh, Ayn Rand would label herself you know in this label as libertarian or label as anarchist. And one thing that I think is is unfair is to bring up those labels because I think so many people in this community uh, um, label themselves all different ways. And I, I think one thing that's unquestionable is is were she alive today that she would be part of the community of people who are trying. Who I, I think who are deeply uh, pro freedom and, and pro liberty. You know, I think that she would yes, absolutely she would likely be involved in all the libertarian infighting, just as as many of us. Sure, absolutely. But I, I mean, I think <laughs> she would be as you know as respected as a Ron Paul or as as respected as you know mm-hmm. yourself or Molyneux or anybody other luminary out there that that is uh, promoting the ideas well, of liberty. You know, Molyneux is an objectivist. I mean, he got his ideas to some extent. I don't from- think he calls himself that. You can tell by his uh, sure. terminology, the way he talks, the whole, this is a, uh, uh, you know, this is a philosophical I conversation. I haven't had a chance yet to listen to his YouTube video, The Truth About Ayn Rand. <laughs> 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 he's done one. He's done a, did a four-part series. That's great. Um, and I think he's very talented. But the, you know, he, he used, the, the way he talks, you can tell he's uh, coming from the objectivist angle. So his, his work is built upon hers. Now, I don't know what... Uh, particularly, he's. I guess he's bringing in the uh, the area that the defuing the family of origin. He's That's bringing uh, jargon, Mark. What do you mean by that? Right. I was just saying is it's D family of origin. Defuing. It's departing the family of origin. Yeah. So what he's claiming is is that uh, this is a you know a system for dealing with uh, bad people in your life. Those kind of things. So he's brought a few things to the table as you, far as philosophy. You, but. You've glossed over what that means. This right. defooing is jargon, which means separating yourself from your family because they disagree with you on politics, basically. Right. That's essentially what he's alleged to have it's, advocated that people do. It's and a long-held his- psychological practice, though, that uh, that people should uh, get out of the social groups that uh, do them harm or do bad things to them. Well, it's so one thing example, if your uncle's raped you or something like that, but it's another thing if he disagrees with you politically sure, at the dinner are, table on Thanksgiving. There are lots I mean, of social psychologists and sociologists and stuff like that that will tell you like, oh, this youth is you know needs to get their, get rid of their entire circle of friends because they do drugs and that's bad for you. You know, like that that's it's a common practice to mm-hmm. to say to separate from a group. It's not common to tell someone to separate from their family because. Their blood. It's well, you know, your family. So 
uh, look, know, I'm the first person to yeah. say that the family is blood and that you're born into a group of strangers. I right. mean, I'm, I'm the first person to say that, but at the same time, I'm also not willing to cut somebody out of my life because they have a political difference uh, right. with me. At least, you know, that, 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 that would be the only reason to, you know, discommunicate well, or this to excommunicate is the, that person. This is the, part of the controversy that surrounds Stefan, is, is that right. exactly when does he say that? And your line and his line are going to be different. There's no doubt about that. Apparently, he suggests it quite often no, to it, people, it, from it, what I understand. Some people have claimed all kinds of different things. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that need to leave their family of origin. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. It's one of those things that uh, looks kind of culty. In fact, a lot culty. It's Free Talk Live. Mom gives us our own special Christmas ornament every year. This year, she gave me one with a picture of me playing soccer. It's my most favorite ornament ever. Each Christmas, moms everywhere create the wonderful tradition of placing special ornaments on the Christmas tree. This year, you can make your tradition even more special with unique, customizable ornaments from personalcreations.com. They have an amazing selection of adorable ornaments to choose from. You can even design the characters to look just like members of your family, including your pets. And you can customize each ornament with any name you'd like to make them truly one of a kind. Radio listeners, you can get a special deal. For a limited time when you order select ornaments on the site, you'll get a second one absolutely free. That's two amazing ornaments for the price of one, and personalization is included. But hurry, because this exclusive offer ends this Friday at midnight. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to personalcreations.com. Click on the orange star in the top right corner and enter the secret code 6767. That's personalcreations.com, secret code 6767. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA four herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3, 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain. Normally $26.95, now just $20. HerbalHealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature. One person at a time, since 1988. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, a great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com this is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live. You can dial toll-free here and bring up anything that you want. The number, it's 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Drop on by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we will share with you on the site. Once again, that's freetalklive.com. And if you like the show and you like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live, please become a Free Talk Live amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. That's AMP. It stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. The idea is you send 5 bucks a month into Free Talk Live. You can do it with any major credit card through PayPal or use Visa or MasterCard right there on our website at amp.freetalklive.com. You'll get perks, too, like access to the Amp Only call-in lines, Amp Only podcast, the Amp Only forum, as well as the Amp Only Facebook group. All of it is there, and you can get signed up tonight over at amp.freetalklive.com. We sure do appreciate it because it makes a big difference. It allows us to do more marketing and outreach to radio stations around the country to get Free Talk Live on more airwaves, and also we can uh, market the show online more effectively. Again, it just all takes money, and your 5 bucks a month is a huge, big difference for us when you make that contribution at amp.freetalklive.com. Johnson is sharing with us a list of 10 things said by Ayn Rand at some point during her life that ring anarchist, even though she herself was a marginal statist, as the article points out. I think we're getting to some of the good ones here. I think that this, okay. is, this next one's good. There can, there can be no compromise between freedom and government controls. To accept just a few controls is to surrender the principle of inalienable individual rights and to substitute it for the principle of the government's unlimited arbitrary power, thus delivering oneself into gradual enslavement. As an example of this process, observe the present domestic policy of the United States. Mm-hmm. I think that's a pretty good one. <laughs> I mean, there's not, I guess there's nothing to argue with with that statement, in my opinion. Um, and I think it's fantastic. I mean, that's exactly the type of thing that would endear her, I think, in the community. Like I was saying, like that I think that she would be, you know, held up today a, a lot, right along all the other people who are well respected amongst not the libertarian people. People who claim her now, like the Glenn Becks and the Rush Limbaugh's and the whoever who say, uh, you know, that oh, we're, I'm in Dyn Rand, I'm an objectivist, uh, you know, I'm a Neil Bortz libertarian. You know, I feel like if she were alive now, those people would unequivocally be rejecting her in, in favor of just being straight up Republicans because they'd actually be rebuffed by the things that she was actually saying. Does Rush Limbaugh actually claim to be a libertarian? Uh, he certainly has promoted uh, her books. Has before. he? Yeah. Okay. He's well, definitely, I've never heard him claim to be I a heard libertarian. somebody call in, and this has been well over 10 years ago, uh, talking to him about the Libertarian Party. And Rush Limbaugh acted like he had never heard of the Libertarian <laughs> Party. And this is, I mean, I know when, when I started listening to talk radio, because it's about the time I started working at the radio station where you and I work, Ian, and mm-hmm. I didn't start working there until 1999 at the end of it. So this was in the 2000s. Rush Limbaugh had been on the r- national radio for 12 years, and then, you know, before that, wherever he was doing radio, the idea that he hadn't heard of the Libertarian Party up until that point is just patently ridiculous. Uh, but he just acted like he had never heard of them before. So the next one here is uh, she is apparently uh, pointing out that she believes or that she was kind of implying that minarchism is not compatible with capitalism. She says it is the basic metaphysical fact of man's nature, the connection between his survival and his use of reason that capitalism recognizes and respects or and protects in a capitalist society. All human relationships are voluntary. Men are free to cooperate or not to deal with one another or not as their own individual judgments, convictions and interests dictate. They can deal with one another in only in terms of. Uh, of and by means of reason, i.e. by means of discussion, persuasion, and contractual agreement by voluntary choice to mutual benefit. The right to agree with others is not a problem in any society. It is the right to disagree that is crucial. It is the institution of private property that protects and implements the right to disagree and thus keeps the road open to man's most valuable attribute, uh, valuable personally, socially, and objectively, the creative mind. And, well, the ability to disagree is, uh, to some extent, founded on your ability to support yourself. And your ability to support yourself means the ability, to some extent, to protect your own property or have somebody protect it for you. 
And the difficulty really comes in in what organization is going to protect your property. Because if you have a government today, what does the government of Belgium, for instance, do really to protect its uh, the people, the Belgians' property from the United States? If the United States wanted to take good care of Belgium, they could do it very quickly. I probably should use the Bahamas because they're closer. But, um, you know, it's the United States controls everything. So there's not really the ability to protect your property. It's just sort of negotiating, um, as it were. And this world where one can uh, protect one's property is fantastic today. Will it ever be so? I don't know. So here's a question. So have you guys heard of the concept of Galt's Gulch? I, miss, I'm, I can imagine you've heard of the the real movement that's sort of was a spectacular failure, and I kind of knew it would be. But Yeah, I mean, I, I've never read the book that it was based on. It was that Atlas Shrugged, I think it right. is, where what the idea is, uh, the character in the book, John Galt, goes off to... Like, go out in the middle of nowhere? The idea generally would be it's sort of like a free state project, right? But in a valley somewhere with a much smaller group of people. Okay. And an invisibility like cloak. Like Keen? Like Keen New Hampshire? Sure. But like, sure, we'll go there. Uh, but uh, with only Liberty Folk living there. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, not like Keen, then. Not like Keen. Um, with an invisibility cloak and uh, an energy no, shield protecting like them. Not like no. Keen. It's sci- it's science fiction almost in, hmm. in Atlas Shrugged. Um, but essentially these people are selected by uh, John Galt. Um, not so in the Galt's Galt. The book Do, for anybody, but, uh, so they don't. They don't trade with anyone. They they are they isolationists. Um, they have an infinite energy machine. <laughs> oh, so they got uh, like a replicator kind of kind of deal. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so that's they, convenient. They're all doing their own. Well, essentially, what happens is it's like they're all masters of their own industry, and mm-hmm. John Galt essentially brings them there. They're they're like the engine of the world. It's like the people who are very well qualified and really the all they want to do with their lives is work and produce and you know the they, marquee players of capitalism sure exactly and so they all have their own industries and they're the masters of their industries and they're willing to work to do whatever they just want to produce with their lives and so they're the producers of the world and essentially he uh john galt gathers all these people and says hey we don't need to be powering this industry of government anymore because essentially the whole point of uh, atlas shrugged is that the people who are producers are the ones who are powering government by paying taxes and paying into the system and enabling the system by their very presence, giving the system legitimacy. Okay. And so uh, essentially they shrug and take off and just start disappearing, and they're disappearing to Galt's cult. They shrug off the chains right. of, uh, of, of government. And, you know, this is so, but like you said, it, it really comes down to this infinite energy machine. Right, right. And uh, getting away from uh, it's, it's difficult to shed the bonds of the, the state because you have to live somewhere. You need power from the grid or, uh, right. you know, somebody has to produce your solar panels. There's You have to sort of function. So the only way she could create this kind of society. So that's her literary device that she is. And the reason why I mention it is because the, on Galt's Gulch, the next statement is sort of uh, referring to Galt's Gulch. Okay. So it says, we are not a state here, not a society of any kind. We're just a voluntary association of men held together by nothing but every man's self-interest. They say that it's hard for men to agree. You'd be surprised how easy it is when both parties has as their moral absolute that neither exists for the sake of... Of the other, and that reason is their only means of trade. And that's a quote from one of the books. That's not a quote oh, from one She of says it's not a society, but a society by definition is a voluntary association of individuals who've come together for a common purpose. Even if that common purpose is to leave each other alone, I think still that you've got a society there. That's interesting. I don't know. I mean, I would have to look up the definition of society to see if there's something that she might be referring to a society like. Um, like the Lions Club, or that's the same a, thing. That type I mean, of those, thing. Those are people who've come together voluntarily for mm, a the common religious purpose. society of friends. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't know exactly what the word. Again, without looking up the definition of the word society, I kind of wonder if there isn't something, some reason why she's attacking that word. Hmm. I'm betting that there maybe is. because it is yes, also. Common she's very intent. jargony, and uh, you know, like the words mean something. Very, to her. Every word means something to her. Yeah, very much so. So she uh, talks on agorism. Uh, says, I am speaking to those who desire to live and to recapture the honor of their soul. Now that you know the truth about your world, stop supporting your own destroyers. The evil mm. of the world is made possible by nothing but the sanction you give it. Oh, Withdraw- so true. 
Yes, withdraw your sanction. Withdraw your support. Do not try to live on your enemy's terms or to win at a game where they're setting the rules. Do not seek the favor of those who enslaved you. Do not beg for alms from those who have robbed you. Be I think that's a wonderful yeah. idea. We can come back with the rest of the sure. quote here in a moment. I like that idea. The problem is the social pressure uh, when you try to you know, withdraw your support from the state. You're surrounded by people who believe in the state, right. and then they see you as the enemy at that point, even though you're just trying to live your own life and leave other people alone. Uh, more coming up here in moments. 855 450 free. You take control here. Hour number three on the way on Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Look, kid, when guys like us walk into a facility in the morning, we can smell a problem. No one needs to hand us a work order. We already know it. Today, for instance, we need a new gearbox, six globe valves, and a dozen ballasts. And when I smell a problem, Granger smells that I smell a problem. They help me keep this place up and running. Now that's the kind of smell I like. The sweet smell of success. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire to Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, December 4th, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.58 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,209 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $373. Antiwar.com reports incoming Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chair Bob Corker claims the Pentagon was prepared to launch a very targeted, very brief war against Syria in August 2013 before the deal was reached on chemical weapons disarmament. Senator Corker claimed that it was going to be a 10-hour operation and that folks were going to be a part of it with us who weren't informed that the war wasn't going to happen until they saw Obama on CNN. Corker was very clear about his opposition to the lack of war at the time, saying Obama jumped in Putin's lap by agreeing to the chemical disarmament deal and said that led directly to where the U.S. is on Syria today. Corker's comments set the stage for an incoming Senate full of hawks who are likely to be extremely critical of the current wars not being bigger than they are and constantly complaining over the potential wars that somehow weren't launched. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. 
Reuters reports sexual assaults reported by U.S. military troops rose 8% in 2014 amid signs that victims are increasingly confident about reporting the attacks, according to defense officials on Wednesday ahead of the formal release of the annual figures. Defense officials, speaking on the condition of anonymity, said military personnel reported 5,983 sexual assaults in the 2014 fiscal year that ended September 30th, compared with 5,518 the previous year. A separate survey conducted by Rand Corp concluded that about 19,000 military personnel were victims of sexual assault or other forms of unwanted sexual conduct in 2014, down from about 26,000 when the two-year survey was last conducted, according to officials. More than half of the victims were men. The survey concluded about one in every four sexual assault victims filed a report in 2014, compared to about one in every 10 in 2012. The findings come amid a Pentagon crackdown on sexual assault in the military following a spate of high-profile incidents in recent years that sparked public outrage and demands for actions by the President and Congress. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel was scheduled to officially release the initial findings of the Pentagon's annual report on Thursday afternoon. He was also expected to release directives to strengthen the military's response to the issue. Last year, reported sexual assaults jumped 50%, a spike officials said was a sign that victims were increasingly confident the crime would be prosecuted as a result of the crackdown. The Pentagon keeps track of sexual assaults reported by male and female military personnel each year, but also conducts a survey every two years to try to estimate the prevalence of the problem. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. The AP reports a judge has suspended enforcement of Fort Lauderdale's ordinance restricting the public feeding of homeless people for 30 days and ordered mediation on the issue. The decision Tuesday by Broward Circuit Judge Thomas Lynch came in a challenge to the ordinance by 90-year-old homeless advocate Arnold Abbott, who has been arrested after defying it repeatedly. Lynch wants the dispute resolved through mediation or trial by the end of the year. The ordinance is aimed at keeping people from feeding the homeless in parks and other other public places. It has generated nationwide controversy, including a successful effort on Monday by hackers in the anonymous group that shut down the city's internet site temporarily. City attorneys indicated that they may appeal Judge Lynch's ruling. Additional lawsuits challenged the constitutionality of the ordinance. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The Dick Cheney Vice Presidential Library opens in a pitch-dark, sulfurous underground cave. And a seedless watermelon is coming to grips with the fact it'll never be able to have kids. This is the Onion Week in Review. Following a litany of tragedies occurring over the past year, a report this week from scientists at Princeton University confirmed that 90% of the Earth's atmosphere is now made up of thoughts and prayers. Researchers confirmed that with the rise of tragic events occurring all across the world each and every day, the Earth's atmosphere is 7% nitrogen, 3% oxygen, and 90 percent emotional pleas begging for everything to be okay. In other news, a new study finds nothing that will actually convince you to change your lifestyle, so just forget it. UMass Dartmouth is beginning to regret offering a course in applied domestic terrorism, and a sparrow thinks it might have caught the bird flu after puking seeds all morning. Stay tuned after the video for a brief tear in the fabric of space-time, offering a glimpse at next week's Onion Review. And keep checking theonion.com for more. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, dial in toll free and bring up whatever you want. The number is 855-450-FREE. Coming up, Mark has a story about a young street preacher who has taken to preaching at the high school that he attends. And apparently that's <laughs> causing some controversy. Well, I don't know that he was actually he actually preaches any place but the high school, but he certainly You described shares. him as a street preacher, which, uh, you know. Yeah. He's preaching in public, I guess is what you're saying, right? He's not. He certainly doesn't mind sharing his face. Yeah, so right. we'll uh, we'll get into that here if we get the chance. Johnson, you are sharing with us uh, 10 quotes from Ayn Rand, who I'm not a real fan of because 
You know, from what I understand, she's not actually a libertarian. Uh, but these quotes sound very anarchist. They sure and do. How many of the ten have we gone through so far? I'm not sure, but we're certainly speeding through them now. Let's see. Um, Just curious. At some point, you'll yeah. post the list. Uh, I yep. believe on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. I think we're which more than halfway through. Listeners can access those social media uh, links through news.freetalklive.com. So this one, I'm going to repeat it a little bit. I think it's a good one because it's you know on agorism, but I also think it's kind of a little bit almost on hand-wringing and dealing with the haters. Agorism, uh, of course, is sure. the idea of uh, doing business without begging the state's permission. Some would say that it's also with the intention of taking the state down sure. uh, peacefully over time. And this is a quote actually by John Galt from Atlas Shrugged. I am speaking to those who desire to live and to recapture the honor of their soul. Now that you know the truth about your world, stop supporting your own destroyers. The evil of the world is made possible by nothing but the sanction you give it. Withdraw your sanction. Withdraw your support. Do not try to live on your enemy's terms or to win at a game where they're setting the rules. Do not try and seek the favor of those who enslaved you. Do not beg for alms from those who have robbed you. Be it subsidies, loans, or jobs, do not join their team to recoup what they've taken by helping them to rob your neighbors. Mm. I think that's a good one. Um, and on statism. A statist is a man who believes that some men have the right to use force to coerce, enslave, rob, and murder others. To put into practice this belief has to be implemented by the political doctrine that the government, the state, has the right to initiate the use of physical force against its citizens. How often force is to be used, against whom, to what extent, and for what purpose, and for whose benefits are irrelevant questions. The basic principle and the ultimate results of all statist doctrines are the same, dictatorship and destruction. The rest is only a matter of time. Yeah, I think that's true, and that's why there is really only a difference in degree agree between the United States government and the government of North Korea. Yep. Um, they're really, you know, yeah, North Korea, they've got horrible conditions in their prison camps. Yep. The U.S. has slightly better conditions in their prison I, camps. I'd say it's significantly better, but certainly not the uh, the best prisons in, in the world. Really, the But the prison camps is the point I'm making. They both have prison camps with forced labor. That's a commonality bet uh, between the two, and they both believe you know, the people in those governments believe they can use force over uh, the individuals within their geographic landmass purview. It's just, you know, in what way they decide to exercise that force and, uh, you know, the amount of checks that they have as far as media and things like that. Uh, just the differences in degrees. Yeah, yeah I think that this was um, th this all gets handed down from the master servant paradigm. Um, you know, I mean, in the past, it was fine to own people. And that's really what the state claims over you. It's ownership. Mm -hmm. They believe they own you. For the instance, with the United States, when you think about, for instance, the debt. Uh, now, the debt is at its uh, all-time high. And how are they going to pay that? Well, they're going to promise to pay it uh, to other people, and they're going to pay those people in interest over time, in principle and in interest over time. And that money is going to come from you, your labor, now, they've got such a debt, and they've had it for so long, we're still paying on the War of 1812, frankly, on principle from that. Um, it's never going to get paid off. It's Let's never going to get paid off. That's fine, but that doesn't mean they're not going to pay on it. That's right. And they're going to continue to wrap it in as best they can and borrow as much as they can. And they're borrowing at this point on the unborn, because the, since the principle's never going to get paid off, the unborn have to continue to pay the principal. You and I were mm -hmm. not born. When we uh, were learning to walk, some politician was spending money that we now have to pay. Continue yes. to pay the interest on. Because you were born into indentured servitude. This has gone well beyond the area of sort of uh, mismanagement. This is in the area of criminality. These people were adults, as smart as you and I. These ideas aren't new. They knew if what they, they were, were smart, doing. smart, they wouldn't have been politicians. Yeah. yeah but it takes a certain intelligence to be able to— uh, I guess, yeah, like a psychopathic kind of intell intellect. You know, the ability to sort of, you know, what lies to tell what people at what time. True. Sociopaths how to properly... are really good tell uh, tellers of lies. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is, this is criminality, yep. and that's what it comes down to. 
This next one is kind of expands on the same sort of general principles on the nature of government action. No individual or private group or private organization has the legal power to initiate the use of physical force against other individuals or groups and compel them to act against their own voluntary choice. Only a government holds that power. The nature of governmental action is coercive action. The nature of political power is the power to force obedience under the threat of physical injury. Injury, the threat of property expropriation, imprisonment, or death. Um, if only it was easier to show that to people. I mean, I guess it gets easier over time the more uh, abuse the police uh, commit. Like, you know, right now there are apparently last night protests in New York mm-hmm. over the death of the man who was selling cigarettes, Lucy cigarettes, which you guys covered to some Eric extent. Eric Garner. Yeah, last night. Um, the more of that happens the more you know the more the police state strikes close to home the more likely people are to wake up to this but there's still a a large chunk of the population who just they don't understand that about government it's inconvenient to understand that about government especially if you want government to do something for you because you don't want to think that you would support the use of violence against your neighbors but ultimately that's what you support by supporting the state. Police accountability is really a different story. Like we see it entirely differently than other people see it. They don't see it as the power of the state. Um, they see it as bad cops. Yeah, just police accountability. That we need more accountability mm-hmm. in this monopoly, this organization that claims a monopoly privilege on the use of violence in a given landmass. They just need better accountability. Not that they need to accept competition in the area of protection services, because the you know the police don't really provide protection services that's just the cover that's the ruse uh you know they might do a little investigation if the case is big enough and they can get enough uh, publicity off of solving it but the little cases they're not going to, to they don't have the manpower the interest or anything to, to to do that so they don't protect as much as they enforce laws and many of these laws to have no victim so they are an organization that goes around enforcing victimless crimes and uh, you know, I can just make up my own set of victimless crimes if I want to do mm-hmm. that but I'm a nut if I try to enforce yeah. my rules on other people so we're on the last two here and I think this one's an interesting one too because a lot of people have thought that Ayn Rand is uh, kind of pro-military and I think that's that what I heard kind of puts the lie to that on statism and war, if men want to oppose war, it is statism that they must oppose. So long as they hold the tribal notion that the individual is sacrificial fodder for the collective, that some men have the right to rule others by force, and that some, any alleged good, can justify it, there can be no peace within a nation and no peace among nations. There you go. Okay, that's pretty good. And following, again, another good one is on voluntary taxation. In a fully free society, taxation, or to be exact, payment for governmental services would be voluntary. Since the proper services of a government, the police, the armed forces, the law, courts, are demonstrably needed by individual citizens and affect their interests directly, the citizens would and should be willing to pay for such services as they pay for insurance voluntarily. And isn't that ultimately all we're asking for? We being the people in the liberty movement is, hey, you government guys, you can keep offering fire and police services and, you know, welfare or whatever it is you want to offer. Let's just make it opt in. Let's make it so or opt out. Let's make it so that, you know, you get a itemized tax bill like here in Keene, New Hampshire. We get a tax bill and it says there's just a total on it. Basically, there's like four breakdowns, one for school, one for like county, one for state, one for city. And that's it. You don't get any kind of breakdown as far as where's the money for the city go. Right. How much is the police department getting? What's the uh, the roads department getting, et cetera? Um, that's what I'd like to see. Sure. You know, let me check off the boxes of the stuff that I want. Maybe maybe I really like how the roads department is doing. I want to give them more than uh, than a, you know, for instance, sure. they're asking for. So I, I mean, they do that. I guess the reason why I brought it up is I just think that there's a lot of good ideas, and I think if you want to, if you focus on the good about what she had to say, uh, you're going to come up with a lot of good stuff. Come back with more. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. 
These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Markets went into a frenzy today after the price of money suddenly skyrocketed to $90 a dollar. Onion reporter spoke to economics professor Mark Cosgrave about the soaring cost of U.S. currency and the impact of increasingly unpredictable dollar-to-dollar rates. Right now, money prices are steeply rising with no signs of slowing down. This morning alone, the price of dollars nearly tripled, with one cent worth approximately $6. That's exponentially higher than even a week ago when money was trading at roughly $53 on the dollar. To put it bluntly, we're now in the midst of a national economic crisis. According to Cosgrave, the abrupt spike in dollar prices initially caused many Americans to hold on to their money, hoping that the $90 cost of dollars would soon dip back down. But as prices continued to climb, investors panicked and began purchasing as much money as possible. But with the cost of quarters hitting $4.97 and the $5 bill jumping to a 12-year high of $372, the days when you could get $30 or $40 for just a couple of bucks are unfortunately long gone. This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free brought to you by ProXPN. 855-450-3733. ProXPN is a global virtual private network, and they encrypt your data, meaning that before whatever it is you're doing online leaves your computer, before whatever commands or information you're sending out to the Internet leaves your computer, it's encrypted, meaning your Internet service provider won't be able to snoop on you anymore, as they are probably doing right now if you don't have ProXPN. Your ISP is probably logging all the websites you visit, the search terms you enter that might be keeping those logs for up to five years in some cases. Stop that from happening by encrypting your data 
and getting Pro XPN's app to do it. It's free. The app is free for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices, Linux users. You can get rolling with Pro XPN as well. It's just a different setup process for Linux. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL to get started there with their free account. But when you're ready to upgrade to the premium account, you'll get unlimited bandwidth servers around the world that you can access. You'll be able to privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. With Pro XPN, go to proxpn.com slash FTL and use code FTL50 to save 50% off the price of their annual account, bringing the price down to around 5 bucks a month. And, by the way, that code, FTL50, locks in your savings for the lifetime of the account. Plus, you can save even more by paying with Bitcoin and using code FTLBTC. You'll save 62% off the price of the annual plan that way. So, again, get started over at proxpn.com slash FTL. The codes you'll need are FTL50 and FTLBTC. You get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and it's a great discount on privacy that's priceless. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Alma is with us in Tallahassee. You're on Free Talk Live. Alma. Hey, Ian and Mark. Hey, and Johnson's here, my... too. Oh, Johnson. Hey, Johnson. Yeah. Hello. I have my slave number, and everyone who has a Social <laughs> Security card has a slave number. Where are the slaves? But I want it's to talk true. about, you know, Waco... The government went in there and killed those women, children, men. You know, now they're so concerned about the citizens being mistreated. They've never been concerned. Oh, they're not concerned about that. Wait, oh, no, what would no, make you no, think they're no. concerned about that? They're not. They're stirring the pot. But, but, but wait, know, wait, Alma, what would make you think they're concerned about people being mistreated? Is it the proposal <laughs> to put cameras on police? Oh, yeah, and I will never call another one to my house with a camera on his shoulder. Really? And what is this? I heard on the radio. This has come out of nowhere with me. You know, now that we're going to be tested for marijuana, going down the road, what if you don't do marijuana? They're going to take your blood anyway? Are they what talking are about, about drawing that? blood in Florida? Yeah, no, everywhere in the United States. Well, this is news this to me. Means, I hadn't heard that I proposal. have heard about uh, police doing drug, blood draws, but I don't know what the specific Yeah, reason this is. is new. It's coming out slowly, very slowly, but it's fixing to be everywhere for a long Hey, well, I that's don't scary do stuff. If that's actually I did what that the... when I was young, but I'm old now, I don't do it. But you have no right to take my blood. Oh, I totally agree. I, I mean, yeah. I think that's really scary. And Alma, I want to thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you at 855-450 free. We Especially know... since we need these idiots. Sorry, you know, cops, but you know, most of these people are not trained phlebotom- phlebotomists. They're not oh, even don't worry, good... Johnson. They'll take a four-hour crash course. Oh yeah, exactly. I'm wondering how many blood. people they're going to kill by in, just inject accidentally injecting someone with an air bubble. I don't know. It's scary stuff. Um, I know that it was years ago that we had a story about the Utah Highway Patrol doing blood draws on the side of the road. Some would suggest that what they'll do is they'll set up like a trailer and they'll have a trained phlebotom- phlebotomist in that trailer. You know, like they like they have the kind of the DUI trailer that they put on the side of the road, right. the DUI checkpoint. And you go in there and they've got the uh, the blood they're alcohol content it, yeah. machine and all that stuff. Um, so, you know, maybe, maybe in some cases, you know, you won't actually have the cops doing blood draws on the side of the road because that sounds really dangerous mm. and dirty and unsanitary and like a bad idea. Um, but then again, you know, the government's known for doing terrible, you know, irresponsible things. To I did read things. some story recently also that the, I guess MIT or some college, you know, some science college is also trying to develop some sort of a breathalyzer for marijuana as well. I heard so. about that, too. I didn't actually... Look at the details. I didn't, unfortunately. You can share your thoughts with us here at 855-450-FREE. But what's interesting, since she kind of talked about the concern that the government people are showing over abuse, at least by the police, there is the proposal, from what I've heard, that Barack Obama made to send federal money to local police departments to pay down 50% of the bill of whatever it would cost right. to outfit their officers with cameras. Five hundred thirty something million dollars. The well. cameras that I saw a picture of though have an off button. Oh, and yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 look, I'm for whatever incremental steps we have, mm-hmm. and I think that police having cameras on them and then turning off the camera when they decide to kick somebody's head in and then turning it back on after they're done is going mm-hmm. to look very suspicious. Yes, but uh, so I think it's a step in the right direction. But, I mean, 
you know, to some extent, I, I still don't trust it. I don't trust the yeah. I don't trust the video in the hands of the police. We had six officers all simultaneously have a camera malfunction. We're not sure what happened. Right. It's amazing. Uh, you know, <laughs> today you don't see all kinds of cases getting kicked out because uh, for whatever reason, the dash cam didn't work in the, the police car cruiser. You, mostly what you see is this cases never go to court. So it it can be difficult. I, I would prefer to see the uh, the audio and video uploaded to the internet so that we can have immediate access to it. What I think is interesting is how many people in the liberty community are uh, you know, opposing this, uh, opposing the the proposal to put cameras mm. on the police. And I have to say that I don't understand that at all. I Neither mean, look. I. Uh, the, look, I, what I think I think one of the concerns is is that if the police have cameras, that it will dissuade other people from having cameras. Like, oh, well, I don't need to have a camera now that the cops have cameras. And if that's what happens, then you deserve everything you get. I mean, if you if you're using the police having a camera as an excuse to not record a situation, to not take your own responsibility for having your own video of whatever that interaction is, then shame on you. Right. That's not the police. Uh, that's not the police's fault. As far as I'm concerned, if the police have a camera, that's angle number three. Because if you get right. if you pull me over, uh, I've got the dash cam from freedomcam.net. I've got my cell phone that I'm going to hold up and I'm going to record with the cell phone as well. Or if if I happen to have my big video camera with me, I'll record with that too. Um, so I'll have at least two cameras on my side. And if the cop wants to have a camera on their side, I don't have a problem with that. Right. It just gives me one more angle that I can cut together in a video, you know, after I get the discovery from the case. So I just, I, if, if it is true that it dissuades people from having their own cameras, I could understand the concern, but that seems unrealistic to me. And we as liberty-minded people should be encouraging people to take their own responsibility. That's the message I've always given when I, when I was on RT. They had me on a couple times to talk sure. about this very same topic. I said, look, I support this, but that doesn't mean you should get lazy. Don't get complacent. <laughs> get your own camera, get two of them, also, and record these interactions. activists tend to use a lot of police gear anyway, and think about the price drops that this is, could bring. <laughs> I don't know. Because of the mass manufacturing of these cameras, the price drops in body cameras will come way down. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but then again, the price is going to be radically increased for the police departments. I mean, you know these contractors are going to charge twice as much sure. as they can. They're going to be would, super rugged, cop rugged. Yeah, normally charge. And, uh, you know, we are seeing these camera prices come down regardless, John. So, I, I mean, feel the terrible dash cams for the, are cheap. I feel terrible for these cops and how much gear they have to put on. I mm -hmm. mean, it, it's got to take 40 or 50 minutes There's to get dressed. There's a lot of dressed. dress out, yeah. Um, you know, you start with you start with the the bullet the T-shirt, the bulletproof vest that goes over that, and then it They're just... They're not all wearing that all the time. I mean... Uh, some police unions have uh, it petitioned... It takes a while to, to dress out as a petitioned cop. Uh, for the money that it takes to get dressed because... It takes 40 minutes just to get to to get dressed to go to work. All right. We're going to come back with more here in moments. 855 450 free. Plus, Mark or Johnson will be telling us about Tommy the Chimp. I don't know what this is about, but apparently it's a chimp and he has rights or doesn't. Ooh, ooh. It's Free Talk Live. Mom, I can't do my math homework. I just don't get it. I hate math. <sighs> I've always tried to be a good mother, but when it came to Jamie's math, I was at a loss. Then a friend told me about Math Made Easy DVDs. Concepts are simplified in an easy way to follow and review, and students can learn at their own pace in the convenience of home. Listen, in the frustration, call Math Made Easy. Call now, 1-800-USA-MATH. That's 1-800-872-6284. Or visit us at mathmadeeasy.com. We've been patiently waiting. Waiting while you tried to ignore us. Waiting while you acted like we didn't exist. Waiting for our chance to be taken seriously. The wait is over. GCN is available 24-7 at GCNlive.com. Navigate through news from your favorite hosts and download archives of past shows. Download the app on your smartphone or tablet or visit GCNlive.com for instant access and live streaming. GCNlive.com, the future of talk radio. Now at your fingertips. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. 
From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Don't worry about things you can't control. Isn't that what they always say? But it's about impossible to avoid worrying about what's going on these days. The government has used the war on guns, the war on drugs, and the war on terrorism to tear our Bill of Rights to shreds. But you can't fight back. The Tenth Amendment Center has proven it, racking up major victories. For example, when the U.S. government claimed authority in the NDAA to have the military kidnap and detain Americans without trial, the nullifiers got a law passed in California, declaring the state's refusal to ever participate in any such thing. Their latest project is offnow.org, nullifying the National Security Agency. They've already gotten model legislation introduced in California, Arizona, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Kansas, meant to limit the power of the NSA to spy on Americans in those states. We'd be fools to wait around for the U.S. Congress or courts to roll back Big Brother. Our best chance is nullification and interposition on the state level. Go to offnow.org, print out that model legislation, and get to work nullifying the NSA. The hero Edward Snowden has risked everything to give us this chance. Let's take it. Offnow.org. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls toll-free about whatever's on your mind. 855-450-FREE. We'll talk about a chimpanzee, apparently. I know nothing about the story, but it's, it's been out street pe- preaching. <laughs> this is not the street preacher story. I don't know if we're going to get to the street preacher thing tonight. Because, Mark, you're really interested in this chimp story. I didn't even know how to really describe it. You said the chimp doesn't have habeas corpus. Is that right? That's right. All right, so we'll find out what that means here in a moment. The chimp may not have habeas corpus, but you can have a free pound of coffee by going to <laughs> coffee.freetalklive.com. Yeah, good segue. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. You just go to coffee.freetalklive.com. You sign up for the subscription. You can cancel it any time. You can get your free pound and go. It's no problem. You pay the shipping. We'll give you a pound of coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com. It's 100% organic, top 1% great Arabica beans, and it's shade-grown. This is delicious coffee. Upgrade your coffee experience, and we take some of the proceeds and give it out to people through microloans through Kiva.org. As a matter of fact, yesterday I gave out three new microloans. I'm trying to uh, give a microloan to somebody in every country that they offer uh, in at Kiva.org. That's so, a cool little goal. Yeah, it's it's sort of fun. So I uh, it was Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, and Albania to uh, round out the A's. I already have several um, that are just sort of picked randomly but you know we'll get those later so it's coffee.freetalklive.com to get your free pound of coffee get started all right our toll-free number here tonight is 855-450 free we've got skype as well skype username here is lrn.fm we'll find out about this chimp and how that has anything to do with habeas corpus uh, or rights first though we've got james in arizona via skype hello james yes johnson to answer your stupid question last week the reason why I call into LRN is to make you think a second time and to hopefully make you laugh. So speaking of... Uh, you have the succeeded A-word. at the very least in the latter portion. <laughs> right. And speaking of the A word and uh, the pixie dust and fairy tales that you make fun of that people uh, I have known in my life, I believe is, are based on a true story. They're far more bright 
decent, hardworking, productive human beings than you'll ever be. <laughs> You're talking about religious life. people versus clearly, atheists? as demonstrated though by your by your frequent calls to a radio no, show. No, by me. Like... I, I the the insult that you level on them. I return fire, and then you take insult to it because you're not a real man. But speaking of A's. <laughs> a real man not, calls radio shows they don't like all night long. And that's what they do with their lives. No, I don't They're like productive members I, of society. I I'm happy to get <laughs> I'm happy to get the calls from James. Hold on. He's, yes. comment, he's complimenting us. Did you say you love the show, James? Mark, may I speak? You guys have had a lot to talk about. I should like to respond to some of it. With, uh, and not Obviously. Obviously. Did you just say that you love the show, though? I just want to make sure, because they were talking over you, and I couldn't hear you. Ideas. I think that Johnson is a stupid, pathetic human being. That's a fact. Not to I love you too, James. And what I can think of, but he thinks that he's found uh, God by becoming an anarchist. Wow, that's what? great. What? Who said what? that? Who said what? Okay. Let me put it this way, that you've found the true freedom-loving principles because you're uh, an anarchist or an anarcho-capitalist or whatever you clowns call yourselves nowadays. But I want to ask Ian a question about Ayn Well, wait, Rand. I want to give Johnson a chance to respond to that. Uh, I don't know something. what to respond to. Apparently I've found some sort of liberty god. Yes, you have. You got, Speaking of being pure... <laughs> Being puritanical, Ian, you weren't much of an Ayn Rand fan because Ayn Rand, because she wasn't puritanical, libertarian like you. What do you What do you think she would say if she were still with us? Uh, I don't know anything about Ayn Rand besides what I've heard, you know, tonight yeah, and a few yeah, times on the, in the past. So, hey. I'm not going to speculate well, about that. Well, think Think what you might know of her. What she would think of you appearing on, boasting about being on Russia today. It's not the first time I've heard you. Bring <laughs> she it would up. say, "Why do you give this fool wit a sanction on your radio show? Why do you bother to talk with it's such a moron, such an intellectual, minuscule person? Know, Why do you bother?" That's a Russian <laughs> accent, but it was <laughs> yeah, pretty entertaining. Terrible. Thanks, James, for the call. Toll das free number. Danya. Toll yeah. free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. That sounded more of like well, a Middle Eastern. Why do you power his very <laughs> existence on your radio show? <laughs> what if Ayn Rand sounded like Gandhi? Right. Or something. I don't know. All right. Monkeys. Monkeys. Chimpanzees. You Mark, know, chimpanzees or Johnson ape, right? or whoever it is that sure, has this Sure, I guess I'm going to read it. It's updated thing. this afternoon. It's breaking news. Lawyers representing a chimpanzee owned and kept in a cage in upstate New York town. Wait a minute. How did the chimpanzee retain this legal assistance? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but they were representing him. Okay. Um, he was being kept in a cage in upstate New York town. Uh, have For the moment, these lawyers have lost their bid to win a writ of habeas corpus. A basic protection against illegal imprisonment. In a okay. unanimous opinion, five judges of the state... I have also been denied. Uh, people have been <laughs> held in, in jail here in Habeas New Corpus is a nearly useless uh, uh, legal thing these days. I mean, it's, yeah. it just, you, it's just something that gets filed every time somebody's locked up, and it's completely and roundly ignored. But in the case of Tommy the Chimp, he's not locked up because of having committed, a, supposedly, he's not accused of committing a crime. Right. Tommy the Chimp is locked up because he's an adult male gorilla and could rip your arm out of your side. <laughs> gorilla and shove or a it. chimp? I'm sorry. Chimp. I'm sorry. He's an ape. He's a chimp, and okay. he could uh, shove that arm up up your butt or down your throat. Um, anything he wants. Like he can Wait, bench press. Is he at a, zoo? a Volkswagen? Where is he at? No, he's in sort of a little okay, trailer so, cart. Uh, the next uh, paragraph here expounds. It says, In a unanimous opinion, five judges of the state's Supreme Court appellate division declined Thursday to extend habeas corpus to Tommy, a chimpanzee kept at Circle L Trailer Sales in Gloversville, New York, about 50 miles <laughs> so northwest of Albany. He's he's at a trailer sales company? Yes. Like you can buy a trailer for your truck kind yeah. of? So you could have Come a horse on down out front. And see Tommy the Champ. <laughs> yeah, it's, geek, geek. Right, it's just like that. Um, we'll give you a shrieking good deal. <laughs> I really want to look up on YouTube and see if there's ads that involve this Circle L trailers or whatever. So my question is, um, I mean, we know that chimpanzees can speak, right? Yeah, I guess they're the ones that press the buttons, right? Well, to they talk? use also sign, sign language. language. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, they communicate. I don't know what the best term for this is. Um, I know that there's uh, the, communication. The, sure. The Coco, the the gorilla, is a good example. There's also uh, one previous to that that I'm. I'm there's one uh, since Coco. There's one that's more recent. Yeah, there's a washu. Uh, ch washu is sort of the famous chimpanzee from the '60s that could that had three three hundred and fifty word vocabulary, and then okay. there's been many of them. They can speak. 
They can communicate. Yes. They have feelings. They, um, you know, they they can be sad. Washu was was said to be uh, surprised when she found out she wasn't human. There's a pretty crazy um, movie about chimps with uh, Matthew Broderick. Um, they came out in what the late eighty or. or Maybe it's the late seventies. I don't know, seventies or eighties, um, about the chimps and the like nuclear uh, testing program. Like, to, to, they were testing like using chimps to deliver nuclear weapons or something like that. Hmm. Um, to literally fly, be jet fighters. Like, wow. Yeah, and it was a very How'd interesting. How that work movie. out? So they were radi- basically what they're doing is testing, uh, radiating these uh, chimps, and this is based on a true story, hmm. um, which is pretty crazy in and of itself. But. Uh, you know, it's a very emotional movie um, because these chimps can speak. And, you know, the guy, this people who are working with them had to watch them be irradiated to death. And they're communicating with these mm. animals who are dying. You know, it's it's much more than a pet, you know, when it it can talk to you, you know. So so wasn't there also a story about a chimp who got revenge on one of the people in the lab that he was being? Yeah, that, in? that's um, uh, that's Planet of the Apes. No, no, no. This was like a real story, Mark. Uh, oh, yeah. There was a real story about a chimp that did this. It, I, I really want to like ask he you waited a to question. Get, Ian, you know, planning. revenge cold. Is right. it okay that these people keep this chimp in this cage? Should he have been granted habeas corpus? Well, I think that's a real tough question because, you know, there's a lot of similarities between chimps and humans. I mean, we're only talking about a few strands of DNA of difference. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of similarities between all primates there is the of same, which humans are. There is the same amount of genetic difference between a chimpanzee and a human being, and this is going to anger some people, uh, uh, but as between the number of chromosomes between a human being and a human being with Down syndrome. Toll free number tonight, 855 Same, 450 yeah. free. We can talk about that because that's a big Same question. Same number of difference in chromosomes. They are, we are as close to people with Down, you know, an, a normal human being is as close to a chimpanzee as we are to someone who has Down syndrome. If we believe that people have rights, if you believe a child who cannot speak mm-hmm. has rights, do you believe a chimpanzee that can speak? Has rights. Let's talk. I think about we it. need to solve this problem, and I think we need to solve it soon. Is there such thing as a non-human person? All right, let's come back with more here in moments. The judges don't think so. Apparently, eight five five four five zero three seven three three. This is Free Talk Live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. (coughs) But don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA four herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3, 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. HerbalHealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! What's the problem, officer? 
officer! Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Moments remain, but enough time for you if you dial in now at 855-450-FREE. We're talking about rights. And it's actually appropriate to bring up this conversation about the chimp that was denied habeas corpus, apparently. Uh, This was a real story. This isn't from The Onion, right? Like, this is actually happening in upstate New York where there's some chimp being kept in a cage that sounds like a trailer dealership. Yep. And uh, apparently in Gloversville, New York. Somebody somehow brought this to court. Uh, The some set of attorneys was yep. hired for the chimp on behalf of the well, chimp. So I guess it, what the lawyers argued was that the animal be regarded not as property, but as a complex, autonomous, legal person with the fundamental legal right not to be imprisoned. As such, the lawsuit argued that the chimp must be freed. The case has been held up as a potential groundbreaker for the animal rights movement. It would have been. And ultimately, the justices in that case decided against the supposed or purported rights of the chimp. But that led to, Mark, you asking the question, you know, should the chimp or any primates have rights? Yeah, and I think that this is a very interesting question. Now, consider that India has already uh, declared dolphins as non-human persons, and Mm -hmm. you can't have dolphin shows and that sort of thing. Mm. Now, I think it's fair to have a dolphin show if the dolphins show up and do tricks for, for fish. But I think it's unfair to... If these animals are as smart as uh, as some scientists say they are, if they um, to to keep them to do tricks and that sort of thing. Now, I'm a pig farmer. I keep pigs. And, Those are notoriously smart animals. And, yeah, they're they're as smart as dogs are. Mm-hmm. Uh, some would say smarter than dogs. I'm I. I'm going to have to see something more than what I've seen in my life. I would say it depends on the dog. I'd say it depends on the pig. Um, I had some really smart pigs last year. They were quite the escape artists, Mm -hmm. and they even knew how to break back into the cage. This year you've turned your fence off, and they don't even know. No, they don't even know. Um, but these are the senators, and they're not quite as smart. Harry, <laughs> Harry Reid, Rand Paul, uh, Chuck Schumer, and Mitch McConnell, they've got about eight more, nine more days to go hmm. until that's uh, it's over for them. Countdown to yeah. extinction. Countdown to the death of the senators. Mm-hmm. And uh, But I believe that animals have rights. Um, I just... I, I wonder how that, uh, you know, how that functions. Like, I'm, I kill animals. Uh, I do a, did 150 chickens. I participated in the death of 150 chickens well, this year. You don't year's. believe that animals have rights? I do. How co- look? I We've do, had I, this discussion before. <laughs> of course we have. Uh, look, I don't think animals have rights because they, in general, because they can't reciprocate. You don't believe anybody has rights? Well, right. Well, I think that I do believe in rights. 
I believe that they are agreements between people that help us get along in the world. And I think that if uh, if sound like the judges, I think that if animals <laughs> in this case, the chimp, has rights. <laughs> in this case, the chimp, if the chimp can acknowledge the idea of rights and is willing to respect the rights of others, then I think that the chimp would have rights. Chimps, so ha- chimpanzees I, have societies. Can I read what the legal decision was sure. uh, here? Okay, so I guess what, I the, really don't care what these the, judges have to say. The complaint was originally filed in December 2013 by Stephen Wise, who's the president of the Non-Human Rights Project, who said not long ago people generally agreed that human slaves could not be legal persons, but were simply the property of their owners. I'm going to just cut it off there and go on to the uh, the legal decision. Uh, wrote Judge Karen Peters, we conclude that a chimpanzee is not a person entitled to the rights and protections afforded by the writ of habeas corpus. While the petitioner offers various uh, justifications for affording chimpanzees such as time to the liberty rights protected by such writ, the ascription of rights has historically been connected with the imposition of societal obligations and duties. Reciprocity between rights and responsibilities stems from principles of, so- of social contract, which in- no, That's not what I was yeah, saying. Which, <laughs> no. Which Just to be clear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which inspired the ideals of freedom and democracy at the core of our they're system saying, of government. They're saying that you only have rights because you have duties. We allow you these rights right. in return for your obligation to us, which, of course, is is a bastardization yeah. of the idea of rights it's in the first despicable. place. It's despicable. She says, under this view, society extends rights in exchange for an express or implied <laughs> agreement from its members to submit to social responsibilities. Wow. Needless to say, unlike human beings, Sick. chimpanzees cannot bear any legal duties submit to societal responsibilities or be held legally accountable for their actions in our view it is this inca- it is this incapability to bear any legal responsibilities and societal duties that renders it inappropriate to confer upon chimpanzees the legal rights such as the fundamental right to liberty protected by the writ of habeas corpus that have been afforded to human beings and i think this is the only decision they could come to now can, what would happen if the habeas corpus is granted, and the, you know, okay, let the chimp go. And you let a chimp go, and where, where's it, Gloversville, New York? And, uh, I mean, it's, okay, a chimpanzee <laughs> needs to eat is extraordinarily strong. These animals can lift your car up over their head. I think Jane Woodall said that a male chimpanzee could lift really? a Volkswagen over its head with one hand. A gorilla hand. or a oh, chimpanzee? I had a That's truly Jane horrible... Woodall, Jane Woodall uh, hung out with chimpanzees. An adult male gorilla is, uh, is said to be able to bench press 3,000 pounds. So they these... do really well in the stock room at Walmart where they'd be employed. <laughs> so these, the, the, you know, these are very strong creatures. You can't just let him go. What do you do? Do you just kill him? <laughs> you know, that doesn't really... Uh, well, if it has rights, then you wouldn't want to be doing that. Right. And this is this is sort they'd of... They have the same, you know, they'd be afforded the same sort of protections as the mentally disabled, I mean, essentially. Which are locked up against their yeah, will. that's right. So that's what really is going on here. It's very, it, it, it's a touchy subject. I believe, yeah, like I said, that animals have rights. I just don't know how we work what that rights? in. rights? You kill them. All the rights. I mean, if, <laughs> all if the they rights. have rights, then one of the most basic rights is the right to continue your own life without interruption uh, by, well, you know, someone else. For one, you're, you're, you're segregating all animals as the same. I don't think that bacteria and chimpanzees are the Let's same. Let's talk about your pigs. What rights do they have? I think that they, uh, you know, they have the same rights as your dog has. And that's, a, that's a cop-out answer. What rights? I, I believe that a person has a responsibility to treat them uh, that's humanely. That's not a right. It's not a right. It's not a right. That's an well, obligation. That's that's a I societal think they have the, obligation. The right to life, liberty, and the and property. So I think they have those rights. I know that they will not respect them mm-hmm. of for, of mine. So I kind of confine them and that sort of thing. We're all going to die. So I'm just deciding what so day they're going so to die. So you believe they have the right to life, liberty, and property, yet you deny them all three? Yes. Then you don't believe that they have those rights. <laughs> no, you, you I know, do you, believe it. it. You have to act on your beliefs if you want to actually have a belief. You have to hold those beliefs beyond just some sort of uh, academic exercise. I don't think we've moved to the point. What's going to happen if I don't start, you know, if I just stop eating pigs? Is that going to, uh, you know, solve all the problems of all the suffering? You don't in the have world? to justify killing the pigs to me. I mean, if you're hungry, no, I'm then asking kill the you pigs. questions. 
I, I will kill the pigs. Right. Absolutely. Don't tell me that you think they have rights at the same time you're slitting their throat. I mean, that's just crazy hypocrisy. I, I, I tell Am them, I wrong about this, I tell Johnson? them they have rights when I'm de- dumping a bucket full of food down there for them, too. This is an arrangement that they don't know about that I have made with them. Is is that they live a really wow, great some life? Crazy talk right here. For eight, I don't know, Johnson. What months. do you think about this? I don't know. I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm trying to uh, parse together a logical, rational thought out of <laughs> out of all this. Okay. I, mean, I let believe. Me, let I, me start on, again. One, on one hand, I agree with Mark. I think that there's a right for a proper. You know, like animals shouldn't be mistreated. They shouldn't be abused. Mm-hmm. So th- they should have a right to. Uh, an abuse-free life, I guess. So that's the right that's to life. That's a statement but, about how sure. how humans should interact with animals in order to be accepted, you know, by society. That that it's that it's a good thing. Who has to the do right? No, to but be that's free, not yeah. what I'm saying. I'm saying that the animals should have the right to the to not be mistreated. Not not a, uh, an impre- an, an yeah, imposition. Just define upon mistreatment. Humans. I mean, some right. people consider the keeping of the animal to be mistreatment sure. because they and believe that the animal has the right to be free. Sure, and I don't agree with that. So my my definition of their right would be, you know, again, it's not, you know. I think we're a long way from defining this, but I would ask you, who has the right to be free? Who? Who? Who has the right to freedom? Do you believe in the right to freedom for anyone? I like the idea, yes. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, Mm -hmm. who has the right? Anyone who agrees to have that right with other human beings or anyone else who can agree to it. So if an alien or a dolphin never never had an imposition of, of my freedom. They've never attempted to impose their mm-hmm. uh, their will against me. You're the me. one imposing not, your will on them. They so you are don't not believe tyrants. they have rights. I I do believe they have rights. I you just, just don't violate them. them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not. You're also just a not, hypocrite. Okay. Well, now here's a diff- different angle on this. I could also say that I believe that those animals have rights, but they have no ability to claim them. So, you know, like you could believe that they have the rights and that you can act as though they have like rights. For, you can treat them as though they have rights, sure. but obviously they can't. Well, they, they do I, I, claim the right to freedom because they want to be free. Uh, they, at this they, point, there's no evidence that. struggle. If you try to hold them, they will struggle to get loose. Good that point. is communication I've always to you. kind of uh, come from the principle that, that rights are only uh, insofar as uh, that the... Uh, being is self-aware enough to say, I have these rights, and I'm claiming this. Yes, that's why I think speak? a chimpanzee has rights, and I believe that that's true Chimpanzees for dolphins. Chimpanzees can speak. And, and I think it's true for you know animals that can Sign see language. themselves in a mirror, like well, right, elephants that's what I'm too. saying. If they can claim the rights, then they should have them. We'll see you tomorrow night online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Free Talk, why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. 
From Kane in the Shire to Liberty Media, capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, December 4th, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.58 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,209 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $373. Antiwar.com reports incoming Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chair Bob Corker claims the Pentagon was prepared to launch a very targeted, very brief war against Syria in August 2013 before the deal was reached on chemical weapons disarmament. Senator Corker claimed that it was going to be a 10-hour operation and that folks were going to be a part of it with us who weren't informed that the war wasn't going to happen until they saw Obama on CNN. Corker was very clear about his opposition to the lack of war at the time, saying Obama jumped in Putin's lap by agreeing to the chemical disarmament deal and said that led directly to where the U.S. is on Syria today. Corker's comments set the stage for an incoming Senate full of hawks who are likely to be extremely critical of the current wars not being bigger than they are and constantly complaining over the potential wars that somehow weren't launched. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports sexual assaults reported by U.S. military troops rose 8% in 2014 amid signs that victims are increasingly confident about reporting the attacks 